The next two network components we are going to examine are firewalls and intrusion prevention systems, or IPSs for short. I want to approach this topic from two standpoints. The so-called traditional role of these devices, and then the next generation or newer roles of these devices. Let's start with firewalls. Firewalls traditionally filter data using ports and protocols. Most firewalls by default block incoming traffic and allow outgoing traffic. To allow inbound traffic, exceptions are set up. As an example, say you want to allow SQL traffic on port 1433. You can configure a firewall to allow inbound TCP traffic on port 1433. Another aspect of firewalls you need to know about is stateful versus stateless firewalls. The best way I can explain this is to compare the way data packets are treated using both methods. Let's say this PC sends a request out to the internet. I've left the switches and routers one would typically see out of this diagram. The network we are in is considered to be a trusted network. A network like the internet is untrusted. Remember that for just a moment. In a stateful firewall, data coming in from untrusted networks is blocked by default. Unless, and this is where the stateful part comes in, it is a response to a request from a trusted network. Back to our data request. We send a request out to a website. The firewall remembers what the request is and where it came from. When it receives that data, it allows it through. Let's say in the meantime, someone is scanning your network looking for a way in. The firewall sees that and thinks, hey, you're an untrusted network. I don't have a request for you, so I'm not letting you in. Stateless firewalls, on the other hand, have no such memory. They filter data strictly based on the firewall settings, namely ports and protocols. Each packet coming in is examined, and if it fits the allowed packets, it is in. If not, it is dropped. The newer firewalls that Cisco has, including the Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance, or ASA, and their Firepower series of firewalls, are known as Next Generation Firewalls, or NGFWs. Next Generation Firewalls protect infrastructure through examining ports and protocols, but also filter data through protecting against apps using random port numbers to launch attacks, advanced malware protection, and URL filtering in conjunction with Cisco Talos, which creates reputation scores for URLs and in turn applies those filters to next generation firewalls. The next device you need to know about for the exam is an intrusion prevention system, an IPS. An IPS can be hardware or software based. Its goal, prevent network attacks. This is done through detecting abnormal patterns in data and if necessary, shut a port down or perform a similar action to stop a potential attack. Finally, just as firewalls have evolved from mere port and protocol filters into next generation firewalls, the same holds true with a next generation IPS. As is the case with firewalls, features such as advanced threat protection and threat management are present. And like firewalls, Cisco next generation IPS devices are marketed under the Cisco Firepower brand and use Cisco Talos to help protect a network infrastructure.